Welcome to this video. Are you interested in why your vehicle diagnosis displays P0506? How is the error code interpreted by the vehicle? What does P0506 mean, or how to correct this fault? Today we will find answers to these questions together. Let's do this. First, let's look at the history of diagnostic fault code composition according to the OBD2 protocol, which is unified for all automakers since 2000. We divide the electric system of automobile into the four basic units. Powertrain. Body. Chasis. Network. This distribution is defined in the first character code. If the second character is expressed as zero, it is a standardized error. In the case of numbers 1, 2, 3 it is a more prestigious expression of the car-specific error. The third character specifies a subset of errors. The distribution shown is valid only for the standardized DTC code. Only the last two characters define the specific fault of the group. Let's not forget that such a division is valid only if the other character code is expressed by the number 0. Our website airbagreset.sk produces useful videos for you. You do not have to go through the OBD2 protocol anymore to know how to troubleshoot any car breakdown. You will find all the diagnostic codes that can be diagnosed in a Cadillac, vehicles, also many other useful things. The following demonstration will help you look into the world of software for car control units. You unbelievably can move the video a bit further. The error code is split into two bytes consisting of 16 bits. One bit is the basic unit that each computer works with. The bit has two logical states. 0, low level. 1, high level. By combining the first two bits, the basic character of the error code is expressed. The next two bits again determine the second character. The last bit styles of the first byte define the third character of the code. The second byte is composed of a combination of eight bits. The first four bits determine the fourth character of the code. And the combination of the last four bits defines the fifth character. A single byte conceals 256 possible combinations. We now know in what way the diagnostic tool translates the received information into a more comprehensible format. The number itself does not make sense to us if we cannot assign information about it to what it actually expresses. So, what does the diagnostic trouble code P0506 interpret specifically Cadillac car manufacturers? The basic definition is idle speed low. And now this is a short description of this DTC code. DTCs P0068, P0101, P0102, P0103, P0112, P0113, P0116, P0117, P0118, P0120, P0121, P0122, P0123, P0128, P0171, P0172, P0174, P0175, P0201, P0202, P0203. P0204, P0205, P0206, P0207, P0208, P0220, P0221, P0222, P0223, P0300, P0308, P0351, P0358, P0461, P0463, P0496, P0502, P0503, P0606, P0722, P0723, P0806, P0808, P1516, P2066, P2068, P2101, P2135, P2227, P2230 are not set the engine is operating for at least 60s the engine is idling for greater than 10s the barometric pressure bar O is greater than 70 kPa 11 psi the engine coolant temperature ECT is greater than 60 degrees Celsius 140 degrees Fahrenheit Fahrenheit the intake air temperature IAT is warmer than minus 20 degrees Celsius to 4 degrees Fahrenheit the vehicle speed is less
less than 3 km per hour 2 miles per hour the commanded engine speed is steady within 25 rpm the transmission is not changing gears the torque converter clutch TCC is not changing states the manual transmission clutch pedal position is between 20 to 88 percent if equipped the manual transmission clutch is not depressed if equipped the power takeoff PTO is not active if equipped the transfer case is not in 4 WD low if equipped a scan tool output control is not active the system voltage is between 11 to 18 volts DTC PO506 and PO507 run continuously when the above conditions are met for greater than 10 S. This diagnostic error occurs most often in these cases. The actual idle speed is approximately 90 rpm lower than the desired idle speed. The Airbag Reset website aims to provide information in 52 languages. Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for the next video.